You don't want the record. You want this case. You know, we're done. We gave you an answer. You didn't like the answer on Friday. You wanted twenty-five dollars, and you can look at the file. Ma'am, is it common to charge just to look at the file? Absolutely. Can I ask the records check? Can I ask when I look at files, we're not charged? Can when do you look at files? Yeah. Yeah, I know you're with the media. Media. When do you look at files? I come down here, or I can go up to district court. You district court. They have that capability. Right. But um, I here you're not supposed to. Well, I haven't been charged to look at files from here. The ladies have always been very nice. Mm -hmm. Just wondering, um, is that a new policy? Um, it's been a policy for quite a while. Okay. Can I ask why on Friday that um, option wasn't given to the gentleman that came down to request the file? It's our policy. I have to check with the judges on it. And it's been a policy for a long time. And it's always been a policy as far as the $25 fee for any type of records check. Now I know that when I, we send information to you, to the, to the media, um, on any felonies and stuff, it's a citation. Right. And an AP. Right. And then as far as looking at the file, um, that's just with a policy because we have to stand for $25. I don't know who allowed you to look at them without that. Um, we did check with our attorney, Chris Gray, and you will see. And I did, after you were in here on Friday, we talked to the judge, and he's checking into it as well. And my understanding is this was something the commissioners may have put in force a number of years ago. Yeah, it's been that way is, is for over six years. Is this for, a depository of public records? It is, and we're not denying you the records. Well, we all we wanted to do them. was all we wanted to do was view them. Mm -hmm. Can we not do that? Generally, it's a twenty-five dollars records check, but that's what I asked the judge about, and that's what mm -hmm. we're asking our county attorney if that's possible. Co according to the Montana Constitution, that all records. I'm not, I can't get into the Constitution with you. Oh. I'm, I'm a clerk. I'm not an attorney. I'm well. not a commissioner, and I'm not a judge. So am I'm I, going by am policy. Am I correct in understanding that you know a lot that controls your job? Most of it. There's an awful lot. Probably more than you do. Just so we're clear, though, if, if they were to file and pay the $25, they would be able to see on each other's file. Absolutely. Okay. We never do time frame. Them. Ask we about a time frame. Them. But if you want to wait for that. How long would that take if we filed $25? Would we get it immediately? Yeah. You did you did you tell me seven to ten days last time? No, that was for a written. That was for if we make copies for you. If you're going to sit here and look at the file right here. Is it possible to it lay right the now. file on the table right now, the public record? Absolutely. The, I never the, denied Then lay it on the ta table and we'll look at it and leave. Yeah, absolutely. Put I it on the table. Bring it around and we'll look at it. Okay, you want to bring that up, Darla? But on Friday, I never denied that. I said it's twenty-five dollars. You never denied uh, the certificate file. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I did not. Okay. I said that for twenty-five dollars, you could have it. I thought it was twenty-seven, and and they would have a copy. They could get it in ten days. No, it's twenty-five. And if you want a copy, and we make you copies, it could be five to ten days. I mean. Oh. So you're charging me twenty-five dollars to submit the public record today? She just said she was going to lay it on the table here. It's not going to be a twenty-five dollar fine uh, charged. Records are to be dispensed and not for sale. Am I wrong? Am I wrong about that? I believe that. 
Records are not to be sold to the public. We own the records. It's not, it's Ernie owns the records. Ernie owns the records. The state of Montana owns the records, ma'am. Mm -hmm. uh, would would you bring the Tertilgate file out here and let us look at it, please, right right now? Yep. Please. Please. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm about over you, sir. And if you start being antagonistic toward me, I'll leave. I, you will leave. I'll leave right now. I will talk with you. I will talk with you. I don't have to be a lawyer to understand the plain words of Montana Student 2-6-201 and others like them. I was a state legislator. I understand law. And I understand the English language. I can read, write, and speak it. And there is no question the public records are open to the public. I'm a member of the public and the president of the public record. This is very clear. It should not be a problem. I've never had a problem like this before in other courts of record or courts of not record. So I'm hoping that there will be compliance with the law because it's official misconduct for a public official not to obey the law or refuse or neglect to do their duty. That's serious business. Well, we're asking if the individual upholds the law, the same law that we expect for us to be held to. We don't think that's too much for us.